I know what you are feeling now since I was the same way 17 years ago. I was so excited and I felt that I finally can pursue my own career after so many years of endless study. At the beginning of your next journey, I would like to share with you how proud I have been Stephen's graduate. I was initially reluctant when President Ravishi invited me to give the commitment speech today. Since I was still in the process to, to reach this important stage. However, he convinced me that my entrepreneurial experience will be helpful to some of you in the, in the future. So there are three important things contribute to myself today. Number one, I have entrepreneurial courage in my blood. Number two, great training at Stevens. Number three, I have, I have been working with in three good startup companies. So today I will share in detail uh, in this three important uh, contribution to myself. I came to Stevens in 1988 from China. At that time, China did not have private industry. Everything is owned by government. So one of my dreams to come to the United States is one day I can start my own company. Of course, today China is full of entrepreneurs. I also believe that is one of the reasons contribute to China's success today. I was fortunate to be accepted by the Department of Material Science and, the, and Engineering at Stevens. It had and still had a great graduate research program. So I just heard and I also see today probably three, five times graduate program than the time I was here. I still remember one of the tough questions in my graduate PhD oral, oral exam in 1989. The question was, can we make nanomaterials by pure mechanical milling? So my interesting answer was no. The combination of mechanical and chemical process is necessary. But almost 10 years later, such topic become major innovation same worldwide. So I was really think the professors, research always has been thinking 10 years ahead of the real life. I have applied such principle to many of our manufacturing process to produce nano size powder. One of the best new lithium iron battery electrical materials is manufactured in this way today in our company. So I studied my PhD under Professor Gawa. He guided me to many exciting materials research topics, many of them result in great success. Here are a few, few examples. We are in the first group to use semiconductor MOCD process to make a high temperature oxide thin film in the world. The silicon carbide whisker CDD process we developed is exactly the same process today making carbon nanotube. It was one of the important uh, nanomaterials innovation uh, today. So our study Diamond-like carbon against diamond-like carbon with near zero friction result in today's industry standard process of coding on hard disk recording head, which in every computer today. However, the most important experience during my graduate study is that I had the opportunity to perform my joint research at a start company, Ampo which later become very successful semiconductor equipment manufacturing company. That was my first exposure to U.S. private company. So my first job was at ATMI, a leader of semiconductor materials solution company. I joined the company right after it went to IPO. So this is another great impact to myself. And the founder and the CEO of ATMI has been always my role model today when I practice uh, in the business. 
After one year at HMI, I joined another startup uh, company as a number three uh, employee, where I learned how to win government research program to build an innovation company. So after working five years in industry, in year 2000, year 2000, I co-found a material discom discovery service company called Intimatics Corporation. Probably never heard this is a small company in Silicon Valley, but I'm sure you were here in future. The company was very successful in selling materials research for DOD, NIST, nice, and DOE uh, agencies ranging from magnetic spin tunneling, microwave dielectric, fuel cells, hydrogen storage materials. However, the company went through a difficult time to grow commercial business in the service business model. So in year 2003, we raised 7 million venture capital funding to build a materials product company with a focus on developing and commercialize white LED phosphorus, fuel cell catalyst, and X-ray synthesis. Among these three focus projects, Intimatics has been success in the LED backlighting industry and we supply the faster materials. So today Samsung is our biggest customer and our materials in 50% of cell phones in the worldwide market. And LED backlighting start replacing CCFR in notebook and the TV due to its lower power consumption and the environment is safe. I think in the next three, five years, every notebook, every TV will be backlighted with, with LED, with our product. So the company continue grow vertically integration with a LED lighting component, which I believe will be one of the most important technologies to impact our life in the 21st century. So Intimatic success in the materials innovation continued to expand to another technology and energy important area, electrical car. Rechargeable battery today cannot meet the electric car in three important uh, the, the, the properties. So the high power safety life cycle are most critical to electrical car become affordable and, uh, and practical. So Intimatics has recently developed new lithium ion electric materials, which will enable electric car with safety and the long life cycle and the high power in future. So we are very pleased to have another important materials business opportunity in automotive revolution for the next 20 years. So there's many different way to be an entrepreneur and start your own company. So you do not need to be a genius in science. The number one important characteristic of entrepreneur is courage. The optimistic and the positive attitude are the key factors to separate you from the others. During the process of building a company, you will face the problem, how to survive, and how to pay your employees. So my advice to those of you who may want to start your own business is you have to have and have to believe your own vision for a successful business. You have to be ready to fight for the business. And you should never give up. So again, congratulations, Stevens graduate. You have been empowered by excellent students education. Good luck. To you all, I wish you best for your bright future.